our general, let's say, our general solution, solution is basically, well, it's got to be, it's a n is equal to, it's a n is equal to some constant times R1, and R1 is 1 plus root 5, so it's 1 plus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of n, plus some other constant d times R2, which is 1 minus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of n. So our general solution looks something like this. Right? And we define c and d. Okay? But we know the initial solutions for the Fibonacci. We have a0 is equal to 1, and we have a1 is equal to, is equal to 1. So when... When a0 is equal to 1, this would become, well, a0, a would be 1, is equal to c times 1 plus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of 0, because it's for the, the first term, it's for the, the term at the index 0, uh, plus d times 1 minus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of 0. And these just fall off to be, well, any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this now becomes our first our first equation is 1 is equal to c plus d. Now, when, when a1 is equal to 1, the second solution, okay, we end up with that, the, we end up with that 1, a1 now, we're evaluating this at 1, so n is equal to 1, so just keep, keep in mind n is equal to 1, whereas up here n was equal to 0 because it was the 0 uh, index. And so this becomes a a1, Okay, which is 1, so 1 must be equal to, well, it's going to be 1 plus root 5 over 2 raised to the power of 1, which is just 1 plus root 5 times c, so that gives us 1 plus root 5 over 2c plus, and it's 1 minus root 5 raised to the power of 1, okay, so that gives us 1 minus root 5 over 2 times times d, and this is our, sec this is our second uh, equation. So what we now have is we have we have simultaneous equations, Sim simultaneous equations okay, okay, in two unknowns. So let's just solve them. So we have A is 1 is equal to C plus D. And we have B is 1 is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 times C plus 1 minus root 5 over 2 times D. Okay. Let's multiply across the top by the negation of the coefficient of C. So this becomes minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 okay, times this, uh, times 1 gives us that. And minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 times C becomes minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 times C. And then minus the minus times the minus becomes a mi minus times the plus becomes a minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 times D. Okay? So we've changed A to to be this here, okay? And now let's just add, ignore this up here, okay? So ignore, we're going to just ignore that, okay? And we're going to now add these equations here together, okay? You can see that the C's are going to cancel out. I have, I have one plus root five over two C here, and I have minus one plus root five over two C there. So when we add this equation together, they're going to cancel. But when I add the constants here, we end up with, this becomes one plus this, which is minus, 1 plus root 5 over 2 must be equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 times d minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 times d. Common Commonality of a d times 1 minus root 5 over 2 here minus, minus this term here, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay? So let's just get some, <clears throat> let's just solve this here. Common denominator here of a 2. Um, this is all over 1, that gives us a 2, minus times 1 gives us a minus 1, minus times that gives us minus root 5, must be equal to d times, okay, common denominator here, but 2, this goes in 1 minus root 5 times, and this goes in minus 1 minus root 5 times, so what we have here, we end up with 1 minus root 5 over 2, must be equal to, the 1's cancel, I end up with minus 2 root 5's over 2, gives us minus root 5 d. So therefore, we have D must be, so let's just have a look at this now. So we now have calculated what D is. It's all just algebraic manipulations here. So now we have, therefore, D, D must be equal to, we divide across by root 5, okay? 
or by minus root 5. Multiply across, first of all, if we first multiply across by minus 1, uh, this becomes root 5 plus 1. Oh, sorry. This becomes, uh, let's ignore that. D becomes uh, root 5 minus 1. And if we, so that, that'll just change that then all over 2. And if we divide across by root 5, that gives us this particular term here. So D is equal to root 5 minus 1 all over, <clears throat> all over 2 root 5. What about C? Well, we know what C is. C is, so how about C? So from A, from A, and just recall A is saying that 1 is equal to C plus D. Okay, well, what do we have? We must have then that 1 is equal to C plus this term here, which is root 5 minus 1 over 2 root 5. So therefore, we have C is equal to 1 minus root 5 minus 1 over 2 root 5. And get our common denominator here, 2 root 5. So that becomes 2 root 5 minus root 5 plus 1. Okay. Which now gives us a nice value here again. Well, if these can be 